Hi everyone, uh, I'm recording this video uh, to show how to prepare the image uh, to be pressed on a t-shirt and mainly here a black t-shirt or dark color t-shirt and uh, we are doing this using the uh, forever laser dark uh, transfer paper and using the HP uh, 452DW uh, CMYK laser uh, color printer and there are a few steps that we need to take in order to prep the image to be transferred. Um, I downloaded this image from the Google images and um, it has um, multi colors that look uh, beautiful reds, uh, yellows, blues. So let's go ahead and start uh, preparing the image uh, for the uh, printing first and then for uh, pressing it on the t-shirt. What I'm going to do first with the image is I'm going to go ahead and adjust the size of the image. So here I would like to make the width uh, close to the A4 paper so I'm going to choose 8 inches as the width and we're going to choose 300 pixel per inch as a resolution. I'm gonna go ahead hit command zero to bring it to full screen and what I'm gonna do now is to increase the vibrance and saturation of the image so um, each image is going to be dealt with differently but this one we can uh, increase actually both the vibrance and the saturation so I'm gonna go with the vibrance here I'm gonna bring it all the way and as far as saturation I'm gonna bring it all the way so that gives me bold red colors, uh, bold uh, blues and yellows. So that will look nice on a black t-shirt. Hit OK. We're going to go ahead to the image and we'll duplicate it. So we're going to work on the duplicate. I will name the duplicate flowers. So I'm working it to full screen. I'm working now on the duplicate. I'm going to go ahead and change it first to grayscale. We'll discard the colors. And I'm going to increase the contrast of it by using unsharp mask. So I'm going to go to filters, sharpen, and unsharp mask. I will use it. We'll keep the amount 100, radius 100, threshold 0. Hit OK. We'll repeat that to get more contrast so we'll go ahead to filter sharpen and unsharp mask hit OK now I need to bring it back or I need to rasterize it so in order to rasterize it we have to go to bitmap so the output should be the same as the input so here are the output 300 pixels per inch so I'm gonna and we'll use the half tone screen. Hit OK. And I'm gonna use a frequency 25 lines per inch. The angle is gonna be 52.5, and I'm using the shape as lines. Hit OK. You can use round, but here I'm gonna use lines. So we'll hit OK. So that is rasterized already. We're gonna bring it back now to grayscale and we keep the size ratio 1, hit OK and we're gonna bring it back to RGB now alright now we're gonna make it a layer I'm gonna go now to the color mode of the duplicate and I'm gonna select it all and I'm gonna go ahead and copy it and I will paste it on the flowers rasterized image edit paste All right. I'm going to work on the underneath layer I'm going to turn off this layer for now and we, I'm keeping here the background foreground as a black color so I'm going to go to select color range so that will select the black I'm keeping the fuzziness 100 here. Hit OK. I'm gonna select inverse. Alright. 
And while I'm keeping this selection, you can see the moving ants here, I'm going to go to the layer above it, which is the colored layer, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the mask. When I'm doing that, it shows my selection as a mask. So if I am turn this on, turn this off, you can see now that this is what's going to print. So I have nice reds, nice yellows, nice blues, and looks. I think it's going to look good on a black t-shirt. Now, we're done with the colored layer, and this one is going to print on the uh, transparent A-sheet of the Forever Laser Dock. What I need to do now is to go ahead and make the uh, white underbase. So I'm going to turn this off, turn this on, and I'm going to be working on this layer now. I will repeat the step of color range so we we'll go to select color range and I'm gonna keep the fuzziness 100 I'm gonna go ahead and inverse my selection select inverse and I will keep my selection on and you can see the moving ads here and I'm gonna make a new layer that layer is transparent so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and I can see my selection here. I will fill it with gray color. So I'm going to go ahead and edit, fill, choosing 50% gray. I will keep the opacity at 100%, hit OK. So here I got the uh, gray color white underbase. Why I'm saying white underbase? This uh, image is gonna print on the same laser printer HP 452DW but that will be after I swap the black toner with the white toner. So there's gonna be a white toner there and I'm gonna print this image on the top of this image that I will print with the CYMK with the black toner. So when this goes on the top of this, that will be the white underbase, underbase that will go on the shirt first. So whatever is the black here is gonna print white. Okay, now we need to choke this and the reason for choking this is the fact that when we print the colored image CYMK on the transparent layer of the uh, forever laser dark the uh, paper will shrink a little bit so in order to get the proper registration I have to shrink this because this is going to be the second pass of the print so I need to shrink it by about one millimeter one millimeter is going to be approximately about four pixels so if I want to show you exactly what's happening here, let me put this one on the top of this layer. And I'm going to turn this on and off. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to zoom in. All right, great. And when I'm zooming in, you can see my selection here. So I'm going to while I'm still selecting, I'm going to go ahead to select, modify, contract. So I need to shrink. So I'm going to shrink it by 4 pixel. Hit OK. And you can see the line here. And that's how much is going to shrink. This is the edge. And this is the new one. So about four pixels, exactly four pixels. So, okay, what we need to do after we did this contract option, I'm going to go ahead and select inverse. So now I'm selecting this area and I'm going to hit delete. So I deleted the four pixels from the edge and that's how I choked the white underbase by four pixels. Let me turn the color layer on and here you can see 
that this is the colored layer edge and this is the white layer edge and it's about four pixels so when this one prints with the first pass and the paper shrinks the white under base is not going to stretch beyond it or at least that's what I hope uh, for and I'm going to see when I'm going to press it on the t-shirt and see how that goes so essentially we got the white under base and what I'm going to do here is to remove this layer oops let me just okay I'm sorry let me remove this layer we don't need it anymore we're done with it and I'm going to bring this back underneath so what we're going to do let me just go ahead and command zero to bring it to full screen and I'm going to deselect select deselect here we go now uh, when we're going to print with the next movie we're going to print this layer on the transparent paper or forever laser dark uh, with the uh, black toner of the laser printer in then we swab the black toner with the white ghost toner and we're gonna print this image a second pass so that will be the white under base now we I don't have text here but if I do, I need to flip the image. We need to keep that in mind. We always need to flip the image before we print it on the transparent layer. So with the next movie, I'm going to print those. I'm going to press A sheet to B sheet and weed them off. And then press the final image on the t-shirt. See you later. Bye-bye.